right, we've got all the lifting assemblies done here and they are connected by this belt. As you can see it's pretty loose so we will have to do something about that. So I will have to make this just one more time over here and I think I'll just take you along and show you how I made this. So these are the main components we're going to need. Just this three millimeter sheet metal here using uh, for this part here. Then we're going to need some aluminium here and this disc basically to make this kind of round thing that prevents the belt from just slipping off the bearing. So let's start with this. Okay, so I've got the material in the chuck here and the first thing is just face off the raw stock. Alright, that's looking pretty good. The second step will be to bring the outer diameter to just about 20 millimeters. That isn't too critical actually. See where we are at. Oh, looks like we overshot by quite a bit, but it shouldn't matter too much actually. Okay, so this cut should get us right about perfect for this bearing. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. That's nice. Alright, I've got the part flipped around and cleaned the side up. And I'll just do a little center ball for the uh, thread. Alright, All right, now there's the hole for the thread. Nice, that should work just fine. So for the thread, I've just got the tailstock kind of floating here. Just press this on here, and then just start cutting the thread. And the tailstock will just move the right amount from itself basically. Oh yeah, yeah, that's working just fine. Okay, so now we have to turn this into something round and what we are going to do is just put a hole in the middle, put this onto a screw, put that into the lathe and then make that round. Alright, we've got it in the chuck and let's start. I have to chuck that up a little bit. Ah, tied up. I think the diameter should be a little bit, yeah, a little bit smaller. Alright, yeah, that, oh, damn, that's hot. Yeah, that should be just fine. Oh, yes, that is really round. Okay, so as you can see that's looking pretty nice. We just we can just put this on here. This is actually all loose. Like if we just put the bearing on here, this should not move at all, but it does. So it seems like I was a little sloppy there. And what we can do is just use a center punch and just lightly punch the metal there, like, like this, but like all, maybe three times here. 
this and uh, uh, that's oh yeah okay so that that's a lot better now we can put the bearing on here and that's perfect all right so the last thing we'll have to make is this little link here and well i'm just gonna drill these holes and use a file to round off these edges Now the great thing about these step drills is that I actually chamfer the holes, like automatically. Alright, that's the boring part. Okay, so now we just have to assemble the whole thing, just nice. put the bearing on there, and then just uh, put in the screw. Tighten that up. Alright, now I've got two of these and the bearings are just just spin. Oh that's all. Oh no, okay, that's working as well. Great. Let's put these onto the laser cut. Okay, so the bell tensioning mechanism basically is functioning. As you can see, we can rise and lower the table using this. Nice.